evening, I'm Sharon Barber. A Sunderland Conservative says hospital managers rather than the government are to blame for the growing disrepair of our hospital buildings. A BBC investigation this week uncovered a surge in repair bills and a series of problems that affected patients. But Labour says the incidents show that the NHS is underfunded. Here's our political editor, Richard Morris. The BBC investigation uncovered a range of incidents in our trust. A tile falling on the head of one patient, power cuts hitting operating theatres. A sign you might think of a lack of funding. But a Sunderland Conservative says hospital managers must take responsibility. They just haven't been doing their job. So, for example, in Northumberland, where there was a case where a door was broken, so a body couldn't get to the morgue, the head of facilities of that NHS trust is paid £200,000 a year. Now, it's not for the government to go into each hospital and make sure that a door is fixed and things like that. We have NHS executives that simply aren't doing their job. Northumbria Healthcare NHS Trust said it is investing in improving its buildings. But the research also found the repairs backlog bill had more than doubled to over £100 million here. Labour says the government is to blame. This is a government problem. They have underfunded our hospitals. In Scarborough, we have got rack crumbling concrete in three operating theatres. James Cook, it's in the roof of the maternity unit. They're literally falling down. Lib Dems, though, say hospital trusts need to think of other ways of raising funds, even seeking sponsors for wards. Individual trusts could do a lot more to, in to include local people to get support from local investors. People out there are willing to help and support the NHS. They're vital for our care, but the row over whether our hospital buildings are getting enough TLC themselves is likely to continue. Richard Moss, BBC Look North. A 24-year-old man is in hospital with serious injuries following a collision involving a police pursuit in Middlesbrough last night. The car collided with a lamppost while it was being followed by the police. Lincoln Police say it was a short pursuit and they have referred the incident to the independent police watchdog. A teenager from Middlesbrough has been crowned welterweight champion at the Mixed Martial Arts Championships. Iliasko has only 18, but his proud dad says he's the first British Asian MMA champion in the region. Phil Chapman reports. Back to training in Middlesbrough. Ilyas is already thinking about his next bout after taking the welterweight belt at the Regional Unity Fighting Championship in Darlington. And there's your welterweight champion, Ilias! It's everyday training, there's no days off. Um, even even after the fight, straight in after two days, obviously uh, for the next fight. Overall, it's mainly the mental toughness that you need. You need obviously the discipline. You need the mental toughness. You need to be able to carry on going even when you're tired, even when your body tells you to stop. You keep going. Keep your hands up. Nice. Ilias, his proud dad has been supporting him since he started at 14. He's very very proud. Uh, you know, we've, we've been working hard uh, to get this, and you know the the sky's the limit now. We've got one title there. We've got another title lined up in uh, end of March there uh, and uh, another one in June as well. And after that, Ilyas and his team have their sights set on the American circuit. Phil Chapman, BBC Look North, Middlesbrough. Impressive. Time now to get the weather prospects. Here's Katerina Christodoulou. Hello there, patchy cloud, clear spells out there tonight. A few isolated showers, some of these could fall wintry over the hills and our temperatures falling away to around 2 or 3 degrees. The freezing point there in Cumbria, the coldest spot most certainly to see a frost in through tomorrow morning. Monday overall, a breezy day, still got those showers running in off the North Sea. Uh, most of these though, further east. Temperatures tomorrow around 7 or 8 in Celsius and with that breeze, it is going to be feeling slightly chillier. On Tuesday, there is going to be more cloud around through the day with a few spots of rain, but by the end of the afternoon, most of that rain would have cleared and there'll be a way for clearer skies. Temperatures on Tuesday around 9 in Celsius. Much chillier. Well, that's all from the weekend team. We hope you have a good week ahead and a very good night from us all. Good night. Bye-bye.